Insta360 have just updated Insta360 Studio, which is their desktop editing software for 360 editing. They've updated it with three brand new features, Color Plus, True Audio, and Remove Grain. And Remove Grain isn't even available in the app, so hang around to the end of the video when we look at that feature. This video will give you an overview of what to expect from these three new features and where to find them and how to use them in the software. Once you've updated your studio software and you open it, it initially appears like nothing really has changed. But don't panic because first of all you have to import your footage. Once you import your footage, then on the right hand side you'll see one of the new features. So let's start there. True Audio is one of Insta360's latest audio features and what True Audio does is it reduces ambient sound and enhances the sound of your voice. The options in the studio software are labelled slightly differently to what they are in the app but they do the same thing. So you have True Audio Off which will just simply play the sound as you recorded it and you can also select Vocal Enhancement or Background Noise Reduction. I'll show you the difference between the three options in this driving shot from a ghost hunt video that I did with the Insta360 ONE X earlier this year. I'm not going to do any further comparisons in this video because I've already looked in depth at True Audio with lots of examples in this video here which looks at how True Audio is used in the Insta360 app. With the filter off, so this is exactly how you've recorded it in camera, you can hear background noise and you can hear road noise and general traffic sounds. So tonight I'm on my way to a ghost hunt at Shepton Mallet Prison with Southern Ghost Society. I'm taking the GoPro and I'm taking the Insta360 ONE X um, and plus I've got a trail camera as well which um, I'm looking forward to using the infrared functions on that camera. Vocal enhancement selected, it subtly reduces the background noise. So tonight I'm on my way to a ghost hunt at Shepton Mallet Prison with Southern Ghost Society. I'm taking the GoPro and I'm taking the Insta360 ONE X um, and plus I've got a trail camera as well which um, I'm looking forward to using the infrared functions on that camera. And we can reduce the background noise even further by selecting background noise reduction. So tonight I'm on my way to a ghost hunt at Shepton Mallet Prison with Southern Ghost Society. I'm taking the GoPro and I'm taking the Insta360 ONE X um, and plus I've got a trail camera as well, which um, I'm looking forward to using the infrared functions on that camera. This option pretty much eliminates all of the background noise. Let me know in the comments what you think about True Audio, and if you want to see further examples, then please watch that video I mentioned a moment ago. Color Plus is the second new feature by Insta360, and this is designed to make your colors more vivid, and also to give you more dynamic range in your shots. Color Plus can't be turned on and off and you can't see it as a preview before you've exported. It actually gets applied to your footage while you're exporting. So once you're happy with your edit, select export and then simply tick the Color Plus box in the export panel. This will apply Color Plus while it's exporting. For this example of Color Plus, I used this footage from my recent trip to China. <laughs> select Color Plus it automatically selects grain reduction at the same time and you can't deselect grain reduction if you're using Color Plus. And it's worth bearing in mind that when you select Color Plus it takes longer to export your footage. So this brings me to the third feature which is only available in Studio and not on the app at the moment and that's grain reduction. For the grain reduction feature, I'm going to use some more footage from the ghost hunt video that I shot with the One X earlier in the year. This was shot in really challenging conditions in low light and most of it was lit with just two torches. So as with the Color Plus, you can't preview grain reduction, you can only apply it in the export process. So once you've edited your shots, select export and then tick the grain reduction box and then export your footage.
So we've only just looked at this one shot, so this isn't a real evaluation of the grain reduction feature. These images were very dark and there was lots of noise, but if we compare these images side by side, I think it's clear that the grain removal has actually done a really good job. And if we had footage that was in a less compromising environment, I think the grain reduction tool would actually do a good job of smoothing out a lot of the noise. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like all of these AI features, they won't work well in every situation. You have to experiment with them and learn from them so you know what works best in certain situations. Let me know in the comments what you think about these three new features. For more 360 video hints and tips, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you on the next video.